behind a tree. This time the body gonna be hiding in the trunk. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content. RiceGang.MyShopify.com. Log on to get your merchandise. Got my guy with me. Showtime man. Speed and nobody that knows bodies. Okay. So another battle of Guardians of the Cultures mm -hmm. Body Snatchers event, mm -hmm. which actually turned out to be a very good event. Pay-per-view is powered by none other than RapGrid.com. Mm -hmm. You had good, solid pay-per-view. Yeah. Crispy, sounds was good, yeah. had a couple angles. I've got nothing much to complain about. That Rap Grid pay-per-view was actually pretty good. They done stepped their shit up. Yes. I like it. Yes. I do like it. Um, Don Marino. Versus Geechee Gotti. Mm. Don Marino got Geechee Gotti before a lot of people, man. <clears throat> There's a lot of people that want Geechee Gotti. This is true. This and is Don true. Don Marino got I, set up with him. I mean, it, at the same time, you, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta pay you gotta pay your dues. You know, uh, Don Marino has gotten really good looks. I mean, he got chess before. You know, a lot of people, but he also got chess at the time where you know he was at the struggling time. That's where he capitalized from. Okay. And ever since then, we've been spitting Mexican bars. You know what I'm mm. saying? They put him in the PGs. Is he still in the PGs? Is he out of the PGs? I think he's out. Are we sure? Because would he be on Survivor Series? We, do, we don't know. He's not a PGs anymore. So in that sense, Geechee Gotti is fair game. So, you know, and at this point in time, Geechee Gotti is out here taking, taking whatever bag. Hey, I think as long as they showed up and showed out, do we have a battle? I believe so. Scary ass. He ain't even a full essay. He a paragraph. <laughs> um, what I will say, I spoke to Geechee Gotti about this battle. He took Don Marino very serious. Mm -hmm. The reason why he took Don Marino very serious and the reason why he'll take all his battles, including small, smaller leagues, serious is because he knows the position that he's in. If he takes a battle lightly and has an A award battle, where you know he didn't give his best showing and loses or whatever the case may be, he knows that the you know heavy is the head. Yeah. You know the Absolutely. target is on his back. Mm -hmm. If he loses to a Don Marino or even has a close debatable battle with a Don Marino, like when you get in his position and other people, you can't take battles that people even said you lost. Yeah. Like when people try to argue about the Mike P. Drake Dennis, he shouldn't even be in a position where he's losing to him. You should be clearly beating it. You shouldn't even yeah. be in a position. Yeah. There should be no argument. What are we be talking about? It, it should, should be a wash. It should be a wash. You in a battle where you having a debatable? Mm -hmm. No, not even a debatable. You're lost. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, my um, Gigi Gotti's mm -hmm. like, yo, I didn't play with him because I knew that he said, and I quote, that 15 minutes gonna be there. Hip hop real gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Rap real gonna be there. And I know y'all gonna watch it. Y'all, as in y'all gonna watch mm -hmm. it and y'all gonna hang me if I get smoked. Mm -hmm. I ain't going for it. Oh yeah. I'm on my shit. That's yeah. what he said. And he came with material. Don Marino, hell of a fight. Yeah. I've seen Don Marino come from the Don Dollars days when he was like, I didn't know where he was at. His bars was just all over the place. Mm -hmm. Couple punches, but the bar, it was just all over the place. Yeah. And he didn't have his shit together. His control wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Breath control wasn't there. His cadence wasn't good. But there was just a couple sparks that showed me that if he works on his flow and stuff, he could potentially be, you know, a pretty good um, battle rapper. Yeah. But uh, what you got for me, man? Well, the first round, it was on Don Marino. And I feel as though if you got this chance to stand in front of somebody this of this caliber, mm -hmm. you need to show up and show out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he says, um, he, he, he hits, I think in the first round, mm -hmm. he wanted to switch the role a little bit because we knew that the third round from Geechee was going to be so real. But I think that Don used a lot of the real tactic mm -hmm. in his first round. So the one joint that I, I love the most, he says, uh, he said, uh, my Spanish is bad. That's where the hate comes from. Mm -hmm. My mother was in the fields in the blazing sun. I had to speak English to her more and more just to show her that the language in this place ain't fun. For a gang, you gave up a couple letters. For my family, I gave them a native tongue. Mm. Okay. That was real and it was deep 
And you know, because you know, as the black culture, we 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 was we was dropped here. Right. My man trying to get the freedom just to be here. You know what I'm saying? I like that aspect against you know a street vibe. It, it worked for me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he also had another good line. He said, uh, "I paid off." He said, uh, "You get paid off people's crimes. You worse than work release." Mm -hmm. He had a lot of those type one fire lines, and it's carefully crafted. And in this sense, it's a solid first round on Don Marino. Right. So now it's on Geechee. <sighs> he knew that the Mexican bars was coming. Mm -hmm. And another thing that Geechee was doing is his rebuttal game mm -hmm. has gotten crazy, crazy, crazy. So, round one, it was on Geechee. He hit you with the Eres, uh, Eres Una Pedal. Eres Una Pedal. What was that? Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't, he say, oh, y'all about to lose this shit. <laughs> Eres una pedo. Nigga, use a bitch. That's, use a bitch in Spanish, huh? mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. That was cool. He says, um, you keep acting like I, he said, keep acting like I ain't your favorite battle rapper or I'll smack the fan out you. Mm. Fire, okay? So I, I felt that one too. Um, then he had another good line where uh, he says, uh, the 40 got something poking out, some of impact. Cause you know what's up, man. Forty had definitely had something poking out. Listen, I believe. Forty had something poking out. She definitely had something out there. Yeah. Now, for the sake of the notes, I ain't trying to give you all of that because it's not even available for anybody to watch. So of course, you have to watch this battle. That means this battle, uh, the Dre Dennis body. You have to watch that. Mm -hmm. And then of course you have the um, the Swave Seven and the New Jersey Twerk. I think that's ten dollars a battle. I think that's worth the ten dollars a battle. So I'm only gonna give y'all light bars from here on out. But I'm gonna say the first round, I gave it to Geechee Gotti, but Don Marino, it's it's a slight edge. You'll love that angle from Don Marino. So you might even give Don Marino the first round, but you know. I got Geechee Gotti winning the first round. Yeah, Pretty I mean, clearly too, but okay. It, I, listen, I, it just it might resonate to somebody else a little bit better. Second round is on um it's on uh, uh Don Marino. He says, um, he said you was hiding behind a tree. This time your body hiding in the trunk. That was a fire line. Because, you know, high amount of tree, they, you know, the tree trunk lines, it's, it's still working for me. He says, last time we seen Gotti behind a branch, Murder Inc. Okay. Yeah, that, okay, that, that didn't move you. He said, bro, he said, bro could die in front of the pops, Cain and Abel. You get everything from 32 down. Basic cable. Because, well, Basic <clears throat> in my house, it, it went up to 33, because 33 was Nickelodeon, 32 was Cartoon Network, and then 30 was the A&E, and everything down was, you know, the regular channels, because we couldn't afford uh, Disney. That was 34 and up, you know what I'm saying? That was, you know, I felt the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Philly niggas. Who, or if you had a chip in the box, you had all them shits, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he goes, um, he says, leave this nut dead all over the drum. Step Brothers, we've heard that line before. Uh, you know, it, it. this is where I started to notice that the gas in the room was very, very evident. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they was hyping a lot of the lines on both sides. On both sides. Because Jersey was definitely on the other side of that building. Um, but what I liked uh, the most uh, from Don Marino second was uh, what I got on my sleeve. All kinds of tricks. He says, ever since jail broke, we never seen you use fire sticks. You know, it's fire. That was, that, that was simple enough for me to say it was another solid, 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 but fire. Second round from Don Marino. I, I'm just, I'm sorry. You know, this right. battle, you gotta see it because you gotta see that hypeness from Don. It was working for me. Um, second round, uh, second round was on Geechee. Uh, Geechee was getting in his bag with these rebuttals again. Um, he says, um, uh, it, there was something that happened in the, uh, in the, in the round with, um, Don Marino, where he had a chick come out and he does a Lisa Leslie line. Yeah, she and, tackled him. Yeah. Though. That was horrible. Oh my God, was, that was horrible. It was, it was, the slam dunk was yeah. horrible. She basically bull rushed. She just him bumped it. She yeah, just like bad, yeah, bad. bumped it. And so in the beginning of Geechee's round, he goes, he said, "Man, I wear." He said, "Where should he go?" Because damn, I was going to show her the show on Kemp. I put my nuts on her chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was good, but he said the thirty-two below basic cable. Mm -hmm. Good luck. He said, you getting everything 40 and up. My Mexican came and gave me the hookup. Mm. Yeah. That yeah. Was, that was a rebuttal. Yeah. It was a freestyle. He didn't write that. No, you get the hookup. Yeah. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? 
Um, and then he started to break down um, Don Marino uh, as a, a battle rapper and um, how he's only on other leagues and, you know, he only had a couple PG battles. So he says uh, he's on Gates of the Garden. He says Dre only opened the gates so you can mow the lawn. That was fire, too. You you kind of played that. that you kind of played that like he only opened the gates. So, you know, he said you only opened the gates so you can mow the lawn. Come on now. Oh, no, you try to show up my mans, but I hear you. Then he also, and he uh, he said, uh, uh, Geechee said uh, a good ass line that I like too. He says, uh, uh, this kid Nat, uh, he said, uh, snuffy, he said, this kid Nat Marino, Ace Ventura. Ventura. Yeah, 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 that was fire, because they kidnapped Marino. Because they kidnapped Marino. That was fire. It was fire, that was fire, man. That was fire. That All was right. good. Kidnapped Marino. For the sake of the argument, to make this battle debatable, I mean, I don't want to say that I'm going to give Don Marino a second round because the rebuttals was too crazy for me. I gave Geechee the second round. I didn't give it to him. I, I, I feel I, like he I, won the second I, Yo, his cadence was crazy. It was. He was wigging. Like, his, like Geechee was rapping faster. Yeah. Giving him more energy. Going at him. Had angles. Had a good cadence performance and everything. I felt like, I you know, know, Don Marino had material. But Geechee, to me, was clearly winning the second round, too. The rebuttals were winning for me. Okay. So, like I said, I, I give Geechee the battle. I give Geechee the second round, and that means I gave him the first, and I gave him the second. It, it, I just don't want this to be a 30. So, the third round, it gets on personal preference. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I wanted to stretch the narrative of how debatable the battle can be. Mm -hmm. Because... Don Marino used the realness in his first round when he was talking about speaking Spanish and how his mother was in the fields and all that stuff. Yeah. And then he brought it back. He didn't touch on any of that in the third round. Mm -hmm. He basically said, he basically was saying, I'm not a gangster, but I'm a motherfucking man. Yeah, so like he, that. you know what I'm saying? You know, you you do uh you do one thing and, and it's considered a gangster, you gotta keep up that type of image. But at the same end, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still a man. I'm a grown ass man. Mm -hmm. So I will do whatever I have to to protect me and mine. And as that, you know what I'm saying, that could resonate with high, it doesn't matter how real it can get. You know what I'm saying? But Geechee Gotti rebuttaled all of that. <laughs> In the third round, god damn it, Geechee, man. It, call I, it, call it. He says, I'll split your shit. He said, they thought he fell in love with the gun. The way he got pistol whipped. <laughs> I mean, Ge uh, it's hard to go against Geechee. Geechee Gotti has that Charlie Clips type aura where live, when you see him the first time, it's hard to it's hard to beat him. When the crowd is all for him, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to go against him. So I I, I got Gigi Gotti clearly winning the battle. Um, but I don't want to despite Don Marino's pen, I want to see more and all of that Don Marino because I feel as though that we got the best Don Marino performance that I've seen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, you know, wait till y'all just pay the 30 so we can have this conversation. We we can talk about this. You know, at another time, or when this finally drops, I'll break it down even more. If y'all, you know, if y'all ask for it, but at the same time, right now, I got, I got Geechee, clearly. Um, I got Geechee winning, not as clearly as I had Dre Dennis winning. No, no. But uh, I got Geechee winning, um, two one ish, debatably three zero. Mm -hmm. uh, Don Marino had one of his best performances ever. Uh, I just feel like with Don Marino, please, I know you're gonna watch this. I feel like he has to work on his performance a little bit more. He has to get sharper. Has to. Because sometimes it's, it's, he's working, but it's sometimes it's a little all over the place. Mm -hmm. Like, he'll be putting the bars together. If you watch the bars, like, he's he's relying on haymakers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Which is not a problem. But when those haymakers, if some of them don't hit, it's like a dry spot. But he continues to keep going. But I want him to focus on more, like, okay, prime example. Geechee Gotti could show you how to level up in his bars, mm -hmm. like with his rebuttals, mm -hmm. with the shit that he's bringing to you, with the jokes, with mm -hmm. the, um, you know, the fucking use his bitch in Spanish. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bags. You got to be able to, when the competition gets better, mm -hmm. you got to get better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It can't just be, 
uh, rap, 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 set up, punchline. Rap, 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 set up, punchline. One, two, three, punchline. One, punchline. Like, you have to be able to use, like, you see how get you rebuttal a bunch of a bunch of time. Mm -hmm. Don Rio's got to learn to rebuttal. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a talent that comes with time. Yeah. But you see Twerk against Swave. Mm -hmm. He's learning to rebuttal. Mm -hmm. What are you doing that's going to be more of a yeah. package? You know yeah. what I'm saying? You have to, and that's what I call leveling up. Mm -hmm. These guys, when they came in, it wasn't super rebuttals like that. No. But they've learned to rebuttal. They've learned, like, you got to start adding more things to the, you know what I'm saying, to your tool belt that's going to help you in the future. Mm -hmm. um, Don Marino got Geechee Gotti quicker than a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he showed and up. And he showed up and yeah. showed out. Yes. It's not one yes. of those losses that's going to do a lot mm -hmm. negative to lead to him. He'll get bigger names after this. Yeah. He'll get bigger situations. Hopefully. Because yeah. he showed up and survived. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Trust me. He didn't die. Let me tell you all. how this works. I'm going to tell you how Battle Rap works. When bigger league sees that you handle your business versus a Geechee Gotti, mm -hmm. they won't be scared to put you in front of somebody else. Right. They'll be yeah. like, well, he showed up, he handled his business, he didn't die. You know what I'm saying? But if you show up and you die, oh, it gets counted against you too. Oh, yeah. When Briz Rothstein battled Loso, Loso was like, they put him up here on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. They once he came up the little the little shit where they did the favor and put him on that big stage in Houston, mm -hmm. they put him on a pedestal. Yeah. He battled Trez too. Nah, a little mm -hmm. bit. You know Just a little saying? bit. But a little bit, not too crazy. Mm -hmm. He battled Briz. <laughs> <laughs> they brought that ass back down to the yeah. bottom. You yep. know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what I'm telling you, it counts. But mm -hmm. um Overall, very good battle, scale of one to ten. I give us an eight and a half. Yeah. They, the boys yeah. did their thing. Yeah. The it's boys did their thing. It's definitely, it's definitely worth it. it. It's worth but uh you already know what it is, we'll talk.